if I might, might sort of just do just a tidbit of math, uh, one square kilometer is a million square meters. Uh-huh. Um, and there's one kilowatt per square Whoa. meter of solar energy. So on one square kilometer, there is a gigawatt of solar energy. Uh-huh. With okay. your sofa. <laughs> you could power the entire United States um, uh, w with about, let's say, 150 to 200 square kilometers of solar panels. The entire United States. Take a corner of Utah. Hmm. Not much going on there. I've been there. <laughs> There's not even radio stations, okay? <laughs> I don't have any fundamental dislike of, of hydrocarbons. Um, I simply look at, at the future and say, what is the thing that will actually work? Um, it, and using a non-renewable resource um, obviously will not work. Investing in the, the, the solar resource is the thing that, that's really going to preserve the, the long-term future, not, not so much the oil and gas. I mean, that's, that's a temporary thing. In, in the future, we'll look back, and by future, I'm not talking about super far in the future, I'm talking about towards the end of the century. We will look back on gasoline-powered cars the same way look, we look back on coal, as sort of a quaint anachronism that's in a museum. R really, we're just arguing about the when uh, hydrocarbons run out or become prohibitively expensive, not if.